YouTube. Uh, a couple years, well, a year ago, uh, my brother-in-laws and I, <clears throat> sorry for my voice, have been fighting some allergies. The Neti Pot and Alka Seltzer Plus work pretty awesome. I'm just waiting for them to kick in. So, but uh, a year ago, my brother-in-laws and I um, had planned a trip to uh well down south from where we are to go on a three-day hike and our biggest concern uh was keeping the weight down in our packs none of us are in shape <laughs> we're like we should be um and so we're at we're out of shape we realize that our bags weigh too much and and so our concern was getting the weight down to where we can manage it over a long hike and still have everything we need well, that trip got canceled, and then uh, rescheduled, and then kind of messed up again anyway, turned into just an overnight uh, stay, and uh, part of that got messed up. We had a kind of a family um, uh, situation, emergency we had to deal with, so, um, and, uh, so anyway, we're wanting to do this again, and uh, I ran across a video by a Canadian prepper. Uh, a review on the mono walker <clears throat> thing is awesome i'm going to see some pictures in just a moment um but initially he, he didn't say anything about the price so initially i was guessing this thing probably cost about five hundred dollars it's a cart a hiker's cart it could have one wheel two wheels it can be configured for a backpack setup uh, it can also be configured to pull behind a bicycle. Um, so one wheel, two wheels, backpack, bicycle. Uh, you can push it forward, pull it behind you. It hooks to a belt on your waist. And, and so it takes about 50 to 60% of the weight of your pack and it carries it on that wheel. So excellent idea. We've had the wheelbarrow for thousands of years. <clears throat> but to modify that idea uh, for a hiker or for a prepper, somebody who's thinking about bug out or um, or just hiking or camping where they're going going a long distance into the woods, uh, an, an excellent modification and redesign of an old idea. My initial thought was this thing is probably expensive because it's a, it's a custom make, it's European, I think it's German or Swiss, and um, it's got some special configurations. Uh, just a number of things I thought, well, that's probably expensive. Um, and the fact that Canadian Prepper didn't mention how much it was, so I got to wondering. And uh, I'll show you a little bit later how much it was, or the uh, screenshot of the uh, Mono Walker website. Uh, and it was, <clears throat> what it came out to in U.S. dollars was $830. Uh, so for just something that um, you and I might have to use once a year, maybe once every couple years, or just to have it there as an emergency if, if you end up having to uh, bug out or some kind of situation uh, where you've got to carry something... Uh, it almost eats up a thousand bucks just to have sitting there to use every once in a while. It may it may make sense for somebody who's hiking in the Swiss Swiss Alps, um, <clears throat> but for the normal everyday person, that's extremely expensive. So uh, I thought I can make one, and so that's what we're gonna do. Uh, this will be part one, and just giving you the idea. And uh, if you'll join me for the next uh, one or two parts. Uh, in the little series, uh, you can follow me in making this. Okay, guys, um, this is what we're going to start with. Um, I'm going to build a mono walker, uh, or at least that's the German, I believe it's German brand. Anyway, it's European, and uh, this is what I've dug out of my hoarding pile. Uh, I'm quite the junk collector, and uh, I see lots of uses for things, so this is what I've pulled 
uh, to be able to try to build this probably the will not use maybe a third of it uh, but at least I've got some options here and uh, I think we can do something pretty well uh, first off we have this green target uh, I believe that came from my brother the four little pipes are from a lamp a stand-up lamp that is no longer working the brown roll is garden edging and it's made out of some kind of uh, really tough uh, plastic composite and so it's real lightweight and very tough uh, obviously you recognize the black um, lawnmower handle the springs are from a uh, trampoline that was broke uh, painters uh, don't even know what you call those and I use them <laughs> so anyway those are for a paint bucket and these green bungees are from the uh, US Marine uh, tarps that they issue the pole aluminum pole is from a broken pool strainer uh, obviously that's from a shopping cart that was in the dumpster and then we have an antique, or nearly antique, it's probably from the uh, 70s or 80s, uh, lawn chair. And uh, almost all of that is aluminum. And back to the wheel over here. Now the wheel is the only thing that I purchased. Um, I've got some small wheels and I've got some bicycle wheels. But uh, either they were too small or too big, so I picked this up probably 14 15 inches and I believe it came off a lawnmower I got it at the salvage yard for four dollars so uh, the goal is to not spend any more than four dollars and be able to build this thing got the uh, lamp going because of the mosquitoes are so bad um, but four dollars is I really didn't want to spend anything on it but um, really needed a different wheel so I think that I think that'll work pretty well it's solid rubber it's a little bit heavier but you're not gonna have any tire go flat on you so that's a positive this is what being American is about being able to repurpose things being able to not spend money and take things that people were going to throw away and make them into something useful. Something our throwaway generation has forgotten about or our disposable generation. And uh, I could not find a price on the monowalker, but I believe, just guessing, probably not too far off, but I think it's around $500. Um, maybe even more so uh, this is what we've got and we'll probably come up with something just as good just not as pretty but I believe being American is about being ingenuitive being willing to spend time rather than money and uh, because uh, we all have time or we have money. You've got one or the other. There's very seldom somebody has uh, a lot of time when they have a lot of money or vice versa. So uh, we're playing with a little bit of both. Um, probably more time than money. So we're going to go the time route. Use everything here. None of this was purchased other than the wheel. Um, the lamp, I guess you could say, was. The mower was given to me and eventually broke down. I guess the strainer was. Point is, all of it would have been in the garbage. Except for that garden border, which has sat in the shop for years. My mom gave it to me, and it sat in Dad's shop for years. 
So we're going to use some of it finally. <laughs> but this is what we're using. And we'll see how it goes. One of the things uh, that I didn't show in the video of my scrap parts is uh, maybe some carabiners or some kind of shoulder harness that maybe I can grab from an old pack or something and um, and be able to make a waist harness uh, to be able to actually carry the weight on your waist and not just with the handles um, and so that'll be something uh, some additional materials I'm not going to focus completely on uh, making this thing to be modified to use as a bicycle trailer or um, or to put two wheels on it or something. Uh, I may try to make a modification where the wheel can spin around and you can maybe harness this thing as a pack. Uh, that would be the only modification I would worry about. Um, other than that, I don't think it's necessary for what I'm going to use it for um, as far as hiking a long distance and only needing it needing to put it on your back if you're uh, hiking some very steep trails or just maybe crossing a river or something where you don't want to drag this thing or push it behind you. Now one one situation I thought about, the, the design of the monowalker uh, is supposed to carry uh, I believe 40 to 50 percent of your weight uh, or the weight of the pack uh, on you and 50 to 60 percent on the monowalker's wheel and I think this can be modified to where uh, more can be carried on the wheel than this current design and I think by positioning the weight uh, more on top of the wheel than in front of it uh, we might be able to do that so that's what I'm going to shoot for. All right. That's it, guys. I uh, hope you join me. And uh, like and subscribe. And uh, subscribe to follow me again and, and see how, how this thing turns out. Uh, we'll try to make it look pretty. Try to make it look nice and functional. And, um, and hopefully you'll join me and maybe get an idea to make one yourself. God bless.